the sex par party, for example, having so many completely naked people simulating sex, being surrounded by a crew that is like mask, shield, gloves, gowns, like it, it, we were, it was just so absurd. <laughs> Out of all of the sex scenes on the show, what are, which one were you most proud of? So hard. I kind of, uh, <laughs> uh, the, the challenging sex scenes for me were always sort of the best ones, the, the logistically difficult, like the car, mm -hmm. like in the car. Um, uh, I, I love the first one between Billy and Cooper. Um, with, you know, the distractions with the game, the yeah. vibrator, the baby. It was just <laughs> like, you root for them, right? And you mm -hmm. just see them missing each other. And um, th those were my favorite. Yeah, I mean, were you disappointed that you couldn't um, recreate that final sex scene between um, <laughs> between the two characters? Or were you happy that you're kind of leaving it up to the imagination? Yeah, the last scene we talked about it. We did. I, mm -hmm. like it was scripted originally to maybe go a little longer past that line, um, and we were like, "How do we top ourselves? Mm -hmm. How do we make that moment better than like the nostalgic, you know, obsessive fantasy that she's been having this whole show?" Like. Mm -hmm. Do we have to top that? Would it like, or do we get into the the new reality of what they might be? And it was just like, we we're like, no, I, I I was happy to leave it there because I was like, it's too much. <laughs> it is, yeah. So there were maybe talks of showing like or like getting into that sex scene a little bit. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then we got there on the day and we were like, we don't need to. It's better if we don't. So it was like yeah. a game time decision, pretty much. No, no, it happened no. before okay. then. But, okay. um, but yeah, as we got closer to the day, Stacy was like, you know what? I think it ends. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. You know, a lot of people, um, tons of people talked about that shower scene with Adam. And I mean, obviously there's no lovemaking in that moment, but what do you, how, do, how are you involved in that scene and how do you make somebody feel comfortable when you're kind of like hanging it all out there, <laughs> literally, regardless if he was revealing all or wearing a prop or anything like that, but how do you make a, an actor feel comfortable in, the, in that moment? Yeah, so, so as an intimacy coordinator, nudity is as much, um, my job as as simulated sex and so we knew that scene was coming up from day one and so I had a conversation with him very early on mm -hmm. and I think um, what was important to me is that he didn't feel pressured mm -hmm. so he had a lot of time to um, we talked about what the options were for that scene for like logistically how those would each play out um, we got into detail and, and, um, and he had time to make his decision. So mm -hmm. that's what mattered to me and that he felt confident on the day. Did you know maybe going into that, that that might be one of the most talked about moments of the show? Uh, yes. Yeah, <laughs> probably. I was I mean, like, they're going to use it and it'll be, yeah, or it'll be over the top and they'll cut it. Like, I don't know. That scene between Cooper and Billy in the kitchen, mm -hmm. right, was um, we talked a lot about that scene going in because it was going to be so um, emotional and difficult and complex. And, and so, and we really wanted to make sure that it, that it looked consensual, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So we built into the choreography all these moments of consent where she says yes, where she says don't stop, where she pulls him closer. Like I had stunt pads on her, oh. right? Because she's getting pushed against the table. Like, so the table, the stairwell, um, I guess my point was that it can be very hard on the body. And so, uh, because you are doing it for so long. So no, there's no one takes. It's. Yeah. Um, it's quite a process. Right. I mean, that's so funny that you mentioned like stunt pads because obviously it looks so beautiful and um, real on when you're watching it. But I'm sure that there's a lot of things behind the scenes that you don't know about because like they're wearing stunt pads. I'm sure they're wearing things over their genitals and things like that. So like, I mean, what kind of things are, are do you do to have like precautions on set and things like that? Yeah, that's what I mean. We were very lucky for this show to get so many rehearsals yeah. uh, so that we could really um, just sort of 
build the framework for it so that we were prepared for each mm -hmm. scene to go, okay, we're going to need this for this shot. We're going right. to need this for this shot. Mm -hmm. I know what you're going to wear. And then of course, like every time you don't see, um, the lower half of their bodies, they're probably wearing cozy pants, right? Yeah. Like, so I, I mean, that. not to burst the bubble, mm -hmm. uh, but, but yes, of course, like with all the film, it, it's absurd behind the camera with all the things that are happening. <laughs> yeah, totally. I, I'm sure. Were there any ever awkward moments on set? Any, anything go wrong? Like, what, what, what would be the highlight of the blooper reel for you? I, I, I don't know. I, I mean, I think just the juxtaposition of like at the sex par party, for example, having so many completely naked people simulating sex, being surrounded by a crew that is like, mask, shield, gloves, gowns, like it, it, we were, it was just so absurd, right? And we got used to it so quickly, but it was like, we could not be more covered and they could not be more like out there. Mm -hmm. um, it was very, it was very surreal.